This is Aurora Valley, a beautiful snowy wonderland where we're going to spend the season trying to survive the cold and building up a cozy winter escape. Which means we've got a whole new world to explore, so let's get started. Well, this tree looks as good as any to start with. There we go, we are all ready to start. So really, I guess we just have to pick a direction and start going. I think I'm gonna do a good little bit of exploring in a nice little radius around zero zero to start. And then we will kind of come back here and figure out a place nearby that looks good to base. I'm kind of hoping that this forest isn't too, too large so we can base on the edge of it or something <laughs> so that we don't have to clear out too much space. I think the forests are beautiful, but it does take a lot of effort to build in here. And unfortunately, we're gonna need to start collecting some wool. Sorry. Ooh, look at that, some nice surface coal that looks like. Hard to see under the snow, actually. Ooh, and some berries. Don't mind if I do. Let's see if we can uh, pick these without getting stabbed. Well, it looks like we are going to need a boat. And it's starting to look like we might have to brave our first night out here. It is, uh, do not have a bed. We did not find any more sheep. So I'm just gonna keep on going and it looks like we might have some water over there as well. So if we get on a boat and just do some boating overnight, it should be a little bit safer. At least we've got a gorgeous view for the night. Oh, I see some lights up there. Maybe we won't be stuck down here all night after all. And just one quick little stop here for this candy cane sugar cane. Mm, this is a tricky village to get up to. All right, we survived our first night thanks to this lovely village, which it has a lot to offer, my goodness. So we have a dark oak forest right there, which is awesome. I would love to collect a couple of dark oak saplings so that we can grow some closer to our base. And this is a huge village. I haven't even started exploring it yet. So let's see what we have here. Oh yes, these cute chests. They're uh, like presents, the actual chests. That's awesome. Now, I do think I'm going to go ahead and take a few things here. Ooh, and let's see what crops they're growing. Ah, carrots, excellent, and potatoes. Wow, look at that. And was that beet seeds? Holy, these guys have everything. I would call this a pretty lucky start so far, other than all of these uh, zombies. <laughs> Please don't zombify this village. They've got a brown sheep, how cute. I would love to find a village for some brown dye. I think that'd be such a good color for this whole uh, situation, but I don't know, we're in the cold biomes, so I kind of doubt there's gonna be a jungle anywhere around here. Uh, but sorry, sir, let me take your uh, brew stand, thank you. Ooh, and we can't forget to collect some of these nice flowers as well. Well, it looks like it might only be one, but this village also has our first iron, which is excellent. Well, I think that completes this village. Let's grab some of that dark oak and continue on our way. Oh, what is this? Is that a swamp? Oh wait, no, that is totally jungle trees. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I didn't even realize that they made these, uh, the cocoa beans, like, all colorful for this pack. Oh, that is so fun. I'm gonna definitely be, uh, taking a bunch of those. Wasn't I just complaining about, uh, or saying that we probably wouldn't find a jungle in this seed? This is, uh, this is pretty good. That was right by the dark oak forest there. 
And I guess we're gonna wanna take some saplings with us. So this one seems like an easy one to take down to uh, be able to get the leaves to naturally fall off. And when it looks like there might be some bamboo over there, I just caught a glimpse of it. So let's definitely grab some of that as well. Look, an ice spikes biome. I think these ones are, I don't know, I do think that they're really cool. They're a little bit maybe boring. I wish that they had like, I don't know, some different textures in them and stuff, but I still think there's something really cool and unique about them. Very like fantasy world vibes. Oh, look at that, another village. Oh, and this is one of those, uh, those good snowy villages with the lanterns. We are definitely going to be replacing some of their lighting here. <laughs> and look at that, they've got a little uh, Rudolph pig. Hey, look at me. Okay, it does not want to show you guys its nose. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> that is so cute. Such a cool village. They have like a view right over there of the ice spikes. What a neat place. They have a saddle. I was not expecting that. We are gathering way too much good stuff already. Well, this looks fun. Oh wow, and another village at the end of this icy river. We are getting very lucky today. Looks like our first igloo. Oh, and it's got a sled. I'm not sure if they all have these sleds, but uh, this is part of one of the mods that I installed. I think it lets you just sort of move around quite, ooh, well, ideally not off the edge, but I think, yeah, it goes like up and down on the, uh, on the snow, which is awesome. All right, anyway, let's not get too distracted. Let's see if, okay, we've got some furnace. That's totally fine. Now let's see if this is one of the ones. <gasps> It is a basement one. Okay, awesome. Let's go and check it out. Right, hello, Mr. Villager and Mr. Zombie Villager. And yes, okay, so we're gonna get golden apple and the potion out of here. So what do we not need? We do not need oak saplings. So let's grab that. And then we need one more space free. I'll leave behind the cobblestone. We don't really need a stack of that. Awesome. So I don't know, where are we? We are... Yeah, we're pretty far away from base, so I don't know if we will come back here specifically for this guy, but we can definitely use the supplies on our own villagers later. Which is honestly pretty great because that means we can get some good trading in before we even ever go to the nether, which would be quite ideal, I think. But uh, let's cozy up in here and spend the night. Well, let's take this sled for a ride for a little while here. Oh, wow. Oh, I did not know breaking this sled was going to drop a bunch of stuff. I thought I could pick it up. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got some actual candy canes, not the sugar cane candy canes. I don't know what those are. I'm not sure if we can eat them or what, but that's cool. We got some raw fish, a bucket of salmon. I think those we'll probably leave behind. Uh, we got some ginger, which is really cool. I think we can make gingerbread. Oh, and we actually did pick up the sled. Okay. Um, and apparently they have a music desk and a lead. Wow, okay. That is a pretty good find actually. And a bunch of bones. I think that came out of there, which is perfect because as we're making our way through this taiga, I am definitely gonna try to tame some dogs. All right, now let's figure out what we do and do not need to take here. Oh, I never even noticed these boots too. Those are pretty good. Mending, feather falling and protection on leather boots so we can walk around in the snow. That is top, 
top tier. Well, at this point, I think we should certainly just start heading back to the starting point again, because our inventory is getting a little bit crazy. Oh, hey, I almost didn't even see that. We found another one. <laughs> that is awesome. Does this one have a basement? Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. I would say this is one of the best Minecraft like starting hordes I've ever had. And well, we might as well break the sled as well. That way we can pick up at least the extra sled and I don't really think I picked up anything else from that, but I think these sleds are going to make some really cute, some really cute decorations at our house. Oh, and look at that, our first dog. Let's get him tamed up. Oh, come here. All right, you are coming along with us. Oh, there's pu are those puppies? <gasps> puppies! <laughs> oh no, those are foxes. Oh, okay, that's why they're moving so fast. <laughs> that's cute. There's white foxes in this one. I don't know if that's part of more mob variants or what. Ooh, look at that. Another dog. Or wolf, I should say. Ah, this one is brown. Very cute. I've got two different mods on right now that change the color of the wolves and I have no idea if they're going to be conflicting or if we're going to get a bunch of different options for colors. So, um, I don't know. It'll, oh, hey, there's another one. <laughs> It'll be fun either way. This one does not want to be my friend. What is wrong with you? Okay, there we go. Well, the wolf army has certainly begun. Well, we are back at zero zero here, just taking some shelter under the tree, although the dogs do not seem to mind getting wet. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're basically, yeah, pretty much at zero zero. So we could base right here. This isn't such a bad spot. It is actually fairly flat. We would just have to take down quite a few trees um, and it could be kind of cute. It's just kind of hard because I can't totally tell what's around here, obviously with the super dense forest. Um, it is quite nice, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just head out a little bit in each direction or I'll pick a direction until we get to a clearing. Um, I'll see which way has the closest clearing to zero zero. And then I think that would be a good place to base because it'll be nice to at least have a clearing in front maybe and a forest behind, um, our cabin or something like that. Well, this doesn't seem so bad. We have a normal forest right there and a spruce forest. So this could be a cute little place to have our house, a nice little background of both trees. We just came a little bit, yeah, basically just a little bit south, um, which really isn't too bad at all. This would be an easy place to get back to if we ever accidentally uh, respawned at zero zero. And it is actually quite, oh, I like how this clearing is basically surrounded by trees. Oh, maybe this is going to be perfect because this gives us quite a bit of space to like build a few different buildings and that sort of thing. If we, you know, did all the way from, um, all the way in this kind of like oval situation. Oh, is this actually ice? Oh, so this is like an, this is almost like an island or like a little peninsula surrounded by a river. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I would build on the ice. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. This would look pretty cool if this was actually water, but I'm not 100% sure if it just turned into ice on world spawn because of the like snowy settings that I have, or if it would remain ice, even if I, like if I melted the ice, would it return to ice again? I'm not really sure. We might have to try it out, but I think this is a very very promising spot so let's just get a little camp set out right up on top of here i think we're gonna have to flatten this out a little bit just to make it a little bit more viable for building and yeah we don't really need to push things all the way to the river i think i think it should be fine just to stick with this land mass here and then we can have a oh is that a lava pool wait let me check that out we also have gravel right here, which is super useful. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. All right. Well, if we do want to go to the nether, <laughs> we don't have to go too far to find the lava. Let's uh, stay away from that, you guys. 
Okay, and yeah, it looks like we have tons of animals in these forests too. I've seen pigs, I've seen sheep, and there were cows closer to spawn. So you know what? I think this is going to be absolutely perfect. Now, I just want to get a bit of an idea of how far I want to bring this down um, before placing all of our chests and stuff so I don't have to move them immediately. I think I'm going to bring it all down to this level right here. And I'm going to remind myself of that by saying there's our bed crafting table and of course a chest so that we can at least store some of our things. Yep, I think this place is going to make a very cozy winter home indeed. But that is going to be all for this very first episode, so leave me your comments, let me know what you thought of it if you're excited for the series, and give me some ideas as well down below. I think this is going to be a beautiful place to spend this season.